Hi everyone, Boz here, and here is my review of Kazoo, the better way to buy a used car. So what is Kazoo, and why did I purchase the Kazoo? Kazoo is an online car supermarket that aims to disrupt the used car market um, and take on the likes of Cinch. They offer delivery in as little as 72 hours, um, and they give a quality assurance whereby they say there is a 300 point check on all cars and they are all reconditioned to a high level. They also offer a seven money, seven day money back guarantee with no questions asked. Now, the website's really friendly to use. You search make a model, you can look at cars, you can filter on the fuel type, the gearbox, whether it's manual or automatic. Um, you can filter the cars within sort of price ranges. Uh, number of seats etc so really sort of helpful and friendly website to use um, you can also view very high quality pictures of the cars and have a 360 cam of inside and out um, so my experience purchased a Range Rover Sport on the 27th of May uh, here's the advert looks really nice it's in a Loire blue um, they've got 29 pictures of the car um, that they've uploaded there's a few imperfections that they have marked as well but generally a nice clean car um, and here's my experience of sort of purchasing the car so purchased on the 27th of May um, I was told to book a collection later than 72 hours as they realistically need time to get the car sorted if it needs like servicing or if there's sort of minor bits that need doing they can do it um, relatively quickly but I think 72 hour turnaround would be quite short um, and for them to offer the best level of service they said just book it the week after which is what I did um, I then get told that the car's been delayed um, so I thought fair enough you know these things do happen let's wait a little while I then get told the car needs some service parts and they're going to order those so I thought okay cool let them do that then get told sort of parts are on back order from Land Rover so they currently don't have the parts ready to fit to the car I thought fair enough then get told it's failed as MOT um, and fair enough went on the website of gov.uk look at the MOT and sure enough it's failed on a couple of items including its tyres um, I then get a call saying you know the car's ready and it's ready to transport thought fantastic cool end of journey you know car's going to turn up and I will be over the moon with it unfortunately I then get a call saying it's missed the transport lorry um, and this was the day before it was supposed to be delivered uh, which was which was um, unfortunate. I then get a call saying it actually needs to go into a body shop now, um, so they're going to do some bits and pieces to it. Um, I then get told, you know, the new parts have arrived, um, and they they're going to be fitted as soon as possible, um, and and that the car will definitely be ready shortly. Um, I unfortunately get another call saying the car's now ready, but because it's taken over 28 days they've had to unwind the finance and I have to reapply for finance to purchase the car um, in that time I thought okay cool I'll go online and repurchase the website unfortunately the price had changed it's gone up by about a grand um, and I was told well there's not much they can do on their side other than purchase the car at a higher price um, fortunately I then spoke to another chap called Luke very helpful um, and he said not a problem he'll he'll push it through he'll speak to the product pricing team like you know these things shouldn't happen they shouldn't change the price of the car when you're in the middle of purchasing it even though you have purchased it previously uh, I thought fair enough let's um, let's get that sorted now roll the clock forward it's now the 11th of July so this is over a thousand hours later not the 72 hours that I sort of envisioned um, so about 15 times longer than suggested for the car to be collected so went down to the Chertsey branch and there it was sitting nice clean shiny um, Range Rover Sport now unfortunately on the way home it uh, broke down and goes into limp mode it lost power and so I had to limp back and um, had a look and fair enough there was sort of red flashing light on the on the dashboard saying because all's filter full visit dealer so I thought this would just be simple enough you know maybe it's just that diesel particulate filter that they um, they talk about um, so they booked it into a garage a week later so for a whole week the car was just sitting on the driveway doing nothing other than being a garden ornament now you know um, it's taking up space you know you, you know you paid for uh, the various bits you know like road tax etc so it's just sort of ticking away um, luckily the, the chap did turn up on the 19th bear in mind this was probably the hottest day 
the UK's ever experienced. It was about 40 degrees, but props to them. They turned up and they did collect the car um, and they, they they delivered it to a local um, local garage who, who were able to, to, to work on the car. Now, to keep me mobile, they were offering a courtesy car, so a little runaround that you know you can use. So if you need to go A to B, you can use that. Um, I did explain sort of multiple occasions. I'm a big, big lad, six foot four, hundred and twenty kilos. I won't fit in a small car. Could you please give me something suitable? They sort not a problem. So courtesy car turns up. It's not great. I can't quite fit into it. Can't drive it, as you can see from the pictures. My knees literally go up to the dash. Um, and this is with the seat fully back. Um, so the experience of that courtesy car was, you know, Wednesday I requested an upgrade courtesy car. I was told, yeah, it's cool, that's being put through. On Thursday, I was like, what's happening? They're like, uh, yeah, it's been approved. They're just putting it through. Friday I got a bit worried, say, like, what is happening? They go, um, yeah, no, it has been approved. Um, you should receive an email shortly from Enterprise who will sort of confirm the upgraded courtesy car. Uh, spoke to Enterprise, nothing on their side. So I called back on Saturday uh, and I was told by a colleague called Victoria that there's no such request for an upgraded car. They can't approve it. Uh, they need to tag a manager, but I can't speak to a manager. There's no one available. Uh, and uh, she's the only port of call that I can speak to. I thought, that doesn't sound quite right. So called back a bit later in the day and spoke to a different person uh, again, using the same sort of options on the phone, uh, a chap called Kobe, who was very helpful uh, and absolute pleasure, you know, put me through to a manager who was able to push through a upgrade courtesy car. Uh, and I finally received a nice little um, Toyota that was able to fit in and use to, to go around. Now, today's the 28th of July. I've received a call from the guy saying the, the car's, you know, fixed and ready to collect. Thought, fantastic. I'll just go down and collect it. Um, Unfortunately, like this is the picture of the armrest. So this, as you can see, there is um, oil that's sort of just been spilt and really just been sinking into the leather of the car. Um, that's just that's not something that you know it's very easy to scrub off, um, and it's across the armrests as well, uh, the center console, and in, in on the chairs, uh, the front the front seats of the car. Um, now, again, you know, nothing that a, you know, proper car valet person shouldn't be able to take out. Um, Kazoo's quality standards, I think, have fallen short in multiple areas for myself. So I was able to give the car a once over and compare it with their website of the 300 point check. Um, and yeah, there was multiple places where it just just didn't quite meet that criteria. So the interior, the exterior, the bodywork, the documentation, the audio, I'm going to have to go on. Um, so I'm not sure if a 300 point check was actually ever completed on this car. Um, you know, I'll give some examples from the top of my head. So the interior, you know, it's got some awful smelling odors, you know, the scratches which aren't marked as imperfections when they should be, the audio is just not working correctly, uh, you know, previous owners, the dress and details are still synced to the car. Um, and if you know, if you go on Kizu's website, you can see a full list of 300 points that they do check, you know, including the odors where the car shouldn't, should be odor free, you know, all scratches should be either be sorted or marked as imperfections. They weren't in this case. The audio should be working. You know, there's, the head unit here is intermittent and the speakers crackle. Um, you know, the previous owner's details would be, have been said that they would be removed, but you know, they're still synced. Uh, I don't know if that's sort of a, uh, quite an easy thing I might be able to do myself um, to, 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 to just reset that uh, or whether Kazoo will sort that themselves. Um, again, sort of exterior, so the tyres, I will come onto that example in just a second with some pictures to show you what I mean by tyres. Um, body works, just, there's some poor quality finish on the rear quarter. Uh, there's some minor sort of scuffs and dents on, on some of the parking sensors. Um, and then, yeah, there's issues with the service history that I've had to chase uh, and still missing one service. Uh, history documentation from Kazoo themselves. Um, cool. So I'll go on to just one of the examples around the tyres. So the example here is, so the tyres were mismatched on the front axle. Um, so one tyre was a summer tyre, one tyre was an all-season tyre. Now, Kazoo's quality standards say if a car has winter or all-weather tyres, all four tyres will be the same type. Clearly they're not. 
Um, and they also had another criteria which they've since removed from their website, which was tyres on electric cars, SUVs and sports cars are always replaced with new tyres from the same brand. Um, this was removed about three weeks ago from Kazoo's website, but I did have a screen grab of it uh, showing the quality standards. Um, so this is the advert for the car. As you can see, the front is a Pirelli all season tyre. Uh, we have a look at the other side, and this is a sort of generic brand uh, summer tyre. So clearly it just hasn't been checked, something as minor as that. Because um, we were quite helpful in that they gave me £50 compensation um, sort of for the inconvenience, um, and they topped up the warranty. So I did purchase a two-year warranty, uh, extended warranty, uh, and they did sort of top up uh, some of that time. Um, now... In total, I've probably spent just over five hours talking time to Kazooie over the past two months to try and get this car resolved. Uh, the reason is callbacks just don't happen. Progress updates are very slow, so you have to chase yourself. Um, and it's, it, it's, it's not very streamlined in the sense that you end up talking to different people. Um, I think in total I've dealt with around 18 or so people, some more helpful than others, um, some really, you know, Great people I've spoken to, you know, Luke, Aaron, Brody, um, just just to name a few. Um, and there's some that aren't as helpful with 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 the with the kazoo uh, experience. So as I said, you know, callbacks just don't happen. Um, management don't really seem to get in touch. They are very hard to get hold of if you do manage to get hold of them, and they always seem to pass the buck back down. Um, so it's a very, very hard process to get to get hold of them. Um, and I really wanted to see Kazoo succeed in this journey through each and every step, but they just seem to fall short at every hurdle. Um, you know, that user experience just wasn't there where, you know, you should be able to go online, purchase a car, you know, and, you know, 72 hours it arrives. None of that happened. Um, and although I want to see the journey from an end to end process, uh, I think I may just cut it short at this point, um, just given the, the, the experience that I have had. Um, I think overall rating Kazoo on a scale of one to five, I would give it a three out of five, simply because there have been some brilliant people who have gone out of their way to try and help me. Um, you know, they have, you know, given me a car courtesy car I mean, appreciate it's not the most ideal um and they have um you know tried hard to get a few things sorted but you know things just don't seem to happen correctly so if knock a star off or you know the quality checks that just weren't there the time it's taken um you know there's quite a bit of money lost as well because uh, you know i'm paying on finance so you know the monthlies are just over 700 pounds per month um but not able to use the car uh, you know road tax on these cars are quite pricey as well so that's just money down the drain really um so i think from today i have seven days on whether i want to keep the car or not uh, but i'm gonna have a good think about it and i will update you with a new video shortly but thanks all for listening, and this has been my kazoo journey. Any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments.